Look at this. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's we're gonna be reviewing the all new Audi RS5. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the strong Audi here in downtown Salt Lake for giving me some time with this RS5. I'm gonna include a link to their inventory in the description down below. If you have any questions whatsoever, just ask for Mike or Landon. And as always, if you're gonna save time and money for the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a twin turbo 2.9 liter V6 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 18 around town and then 25 on the highway with power outputs being 444 horsepower and then 442 pound feet of torque. Let's go over the front end of the RS5 Sportback. So first off, this is finished in cumulus blue, which is a special color you have to pay quite a bit of extra money for. And I feel like the name is very fitting because this does kind of remind me of a blue cloudy sky, like just a really cool color. Now you guys can see here with the LED headlight and then also with the daytime ring light, looks pretty crazy. Got our parking sensor here on this little blacked out piece. And then notice the whole grill is blacked out, including the Audi logo. There's a camera below the logo. We do have our subtle RS5 badge and also you guys can see the audi nostrils right there which is pretty cool but there's the front coming around the side here our tire and wheel setup is 275 30 20 in the front and in the rear as well and then you guys can see the design on the wheels you got the silver on the top and the black below that which looks really cool it gives the wheels kind of like this edgy aggressive appearance and then look at the red for the brake caliper and sorry about that someone's uh, setting off car alarms but anyways Back to the brake caliper. I think it contrasts nicely with this car, the red versus the cumulus blue. And look how big the rotors are, by the way. We have a RS5 badge here on this little black piece. Notice the mirror cap blacked out and then our side skirt also blacked out. And you guys can see with the sport back design, this thing looks pretty dang sweet. So here is our key fob. You guys can see we've got the lock function, the unlock function, the opening for the trunk with the Audi logo there at the bottom and then RS on the back. Press that a couple times and it'll pop the trunk right open. And you guys can see cargo cover already built in and notice, well, it's actually a hatch. I should have said hatch, not trunk, but either way, we got floor mats here in the back, hence the sport back name. Um, underneath, you guys can see the spare tire. And yeah, with the sport back design, it has quite a bit of storage space and the opening's obviously really large. And then look at the other half of the cargo cover. And let's press that button and that'll lower everything back down. And there you go. Now let's finish things up with the rest of the rear. So first off, we have our low profile black spoiler here on the back and the normal Audi fashion. You guys can see with the sequential turn signal, pretty interesting with that and i love the overall taillight design i think it looks pretty cool and then all the badges here on the back are all blacked out parking sensors here at the bottom and then look how aggressive the exhaust tips are and then also that's all black there obviously for the diffuser but there's the rear so here's the door panel in the RS5. First off, you guys can see we've got carbon fiber here and I love the look of the door handle. And then it's Audi exclusive because this has an Audi exclusive interior and exterior and oh, the interior. So we have blue stitching on this white leather, which actually makes sense because if you mix these two colors together, then you'd pretty much get the cumulus blue or uh, maybe I'm just colorblind. But either way, I think the concept is cool. And yeah, this is just crazy. Popping in, ooh. There's your legroom. And then you guys can see with a little storage net here. And we've got some vents for the rear passengers, heated seats. We've got this for the temperature, charging ports down below. And yeah, I love the look of these seats. Sorry about the camera not picking it up. There's a better view with that. They look so cool. And then we have, of course, storage space, but we have these extremely over-engineered cup holders. I mean, such a German thing. I love it though. I think it's, I think it's hilarious. Let's head to the front. Now here is the front door panel. Again, Audi exclusive there on the Alcantara. And then we've got the same white leather with the blue stitching. We've got all of our window controls here with our multi mirror controls, what we'll call it. Cause you can adjust the mirrors, fold them in and turn on the heated mirror function. And then again, with the carbon fiber trim that goes to the memory seats, here's a quick look at the mirrors themselves, by the way. RS5 badge right there. And then here's the front seat. So 
You got the RS logo right there at the top of the seat, and then you got that cool, like, hexagonal-ish design. I guess we'll say ish to make it work. And then you guys can see with the seat adjustments, looks like we have massaging seats with this. That's pretty cool. And then we've got our pedal layout down below with our light controls and then more carbon fiber trim. And let's pop in. So here is our steering wheel. We have the golf ball texture all around the steering wheel, which I think is pretty cool and frankly helps you get a better grip if you're doing some performance driving. RS logo here at the bottom. And then we have some controls for the center stack paddle shifters here on the back for that eight speed automatic transmission. And then notice we have our little RS button here right next to the heated steering wheel button. So like either you're gonna warm your hands or put it into a performance driving mode. There's no in between there. But yeah, pretty normal Audi steering wheel. And then of course got our turn signal stock, cruise control stock, windshield wiper stock, all the normal works. Now here is the center gauge cluster. So this is Audi's full digital gauge cluster, just like most of Audi's other new models. And so we can change like the whole viewpoint of the gauge cluster, which is pretty cool. You just press the view button. And then we have my favorite part, which is the navigation, which if we change the view button, fills up the entire screen, which is pretty cool. And you can also zoom in and out with the nav, which is also fun. But yeah, overall, super customizable gauge cluster. I think they did a really good job with the overall like design, format, everything. I think that it just looks great. And we'll just, we'll just leave it on the G meters. That, I, think, I think that's the most important thing. So here's our center infotainment screen. You guys can see we have it in reverse. We've got our backup camera now. I don't think this does the cool, doesn't do the cool camera turn thing, but still we have a full 360 camera system. So we can see out of like every single angle here, with the RS5, which is fantastic. Now I'm gonna put it back into park. You guys can see we've got the nav screen right here, but we have a shortcut bar here on the side. And then you have like the main screen response time with the screen itself is really solid. The tab that we have to uh, first go into actually is, actually there isn't a seat tab. So let's see, uh, press the uh, button on the side of the seat and see if it pops up anything here. Yeah, there we go. Gotta, gotta get the massaging seat function going on. So just press the button on the side and then I'll do that whole setup. But if we go to the vehicle tab, you guys can see we've got some different oh that's where the seat button is i've been reviewing too many cars today we've got some stuff specific to the rs like we have our rs monitor which is pretty cool it shows you everything that is happening um, and then non-specific to the rs we've got the drive modes i love how you just have three there's auto comfort and dynamic there's no in between you're either just comfortably cruising letting the car figure things out for you or you are doing some sporty driving then you have your rs1 and rs2 which you can go in and edit so that you can have those set up to what you want so it's cool you have like two different customizable drive modes now we've got our climate control vents just down below dual zone climate here in the rs5 heated seats for the front and then down below this is just the button to turn off the screen parking sensor parking assistance and then you can see the stability control in the drive mode select engine stop start button and then some little charging ports and then cup holders and then i kind of glazed over this a little bit but we have the quattro badge but carbon fiber on the dash which is pretty cool and i'll get the leather trim here on the side as well shifter here for the eight speed automatic transmission now this says rs right there the little parking brake and then our volume control here off to the side and then center console that you just you just lift up pretty simple there's a wireless phone charging pad which is nice and then pretty normal glove box and last but not least we do have a sunroof here at the top, darker colored headliner, pretty normal setup, nothing too fancy. So here's our window sticker. You guys can see that most stuff is standard from an equipment perspective, and I'm really interested to see how this sport suspension and differential performs uh, with regular driving. Um, but yeah, almost everything is standard. The crazy thing is when you get into the options on this particular car, so you guys can see the color alone, $3,900. And then the interior package, $7,100. So just to make this car look like what it looks like is over $10,000. And then you guys can see the other equipment on this. So the base price is 76,200. Total MSRP on this one, 99,790 or $745, almost $100,000, not quite. Let's see how this thing drives. Let's talk about visibility before you set off. Here's your visibility over the hood and you guys can see the heads up display, hopefully. Both of the mirrors. And then throughout the rest of the rear, 
and let's set off. Oh, setting off here in the RS5, and I just have it in the auto mode uh, for the time being with the initial driving. And this is actually a really good luxury car. Like the seats are really comfortable. The leather is so nice with this exclusive interior. And I mean, I guess it better be for like $7,000. But yeah, seriously, like it's it's super, like it, like the feeling of it's like just, yeah, super top notch. But yeah, seat comfort's great. Um, I don't know why I'm not getting a massage right now. Yeah, I guess, I guess wave will work. I don't work for our massage function. Um, yeah, they did a really good job with just I guess making this feel like a solid luxury car. So I'm impressed with that. And you know, it's not obnoxiously loud or anything with the exhaust. Like it's it's the right amount of sound where you, you can tell it's like a performance car, but you could just very comfortably daily drive this. And I understand why I see so many of these being daily driven because it's just frankly a good daily driver car. Now the suspension, even in the, actually let's pop it in the comfort setting before I make any judgment. I was saying the auto setting is definitely on the firmer side of things. On the comfort setting, yeah, they did a good, like in the comfort setting, it's great. It's it's very, it, it's comfortable. Hence the name for the drive mode setting. <laughs> so I did a good job with that as well. Um, I know I kind of talked about this earlier, but I love the golf ball steering wheel. I used to not be a fan of this type of steering wheel, but it's actually grown on me quite a bit. I think that it's, uh, it makes sense why Addy puts it in all of their like high performance cars. Cause it just, it feels, it feels right basically. But uh, what we'll do is we'll pop it into dynamic um, obviously we got the RS1 and RS2. Again, that's kind of like your, you know, you set the sport mode, but dynamic will just be like our, you know, normal sport mode. You can tell that it gets a little bit more aggressive because it gets a little bit louder, opens up the exhaust a bit. Yeah, downshifts are really aggressive with the eight speed too. So you can tell that it's, it's, it's getting ready for some performance driving. That is for sure. <laughs> that was just like not, that was, wow. Listen to the downshift. This is such an aggressive car when you're in the performance setting. That is so impressive. Like this definitely has like that characteristic where it's just completely different from one drive mode to the next. That is fun. Wow, good job on Audi for doing that. That's cool that it's able to just change that fast and just go from being like luxury car to just full, I mean, look at this. <laughs> it's so fast and it sounds so good. I love the V6. This thing's a blast. So, pop back in a comfort setting. Uh, summing things up, I think this thing looks really cool on the outside. This is such a weird spec. Like, let's be real here. This definitely is an interesting spec, but I like weird specs like this. So, props to Audi for building something like this. And then, you know, from a driving perspective, it's so fast, but it's also super comfortable. Like, they've just done such an amazing job with this car, making it a comfortable luxury daily driver. And then also, you know, a fun sporty performance car. Like it has the best of both interior qualities really good as well. And so overall, I'm super impressed with the RS5. I think this might be the RS sweet spot if I, uh, say so myself. Now, the reason that I think it might be the RS sweet spot is because this isn't nearly as expensive as the RS7. Like it's, you know, it's, it's $100,000, but it's not like, you know, well over $100,000 like the RS7. But, big but, is it's also a lot smaller than the RS7. So like, it's not as comfortable, but like it, it has better handling characteristics. Um, but I feel like it's big enough that it's still like comfortable. Cause like the RS3, for example, and RS4, they're just a tad bit too small and so again i think this might be the sweet spot in terms of the size and the performance that you get and so i can understand why this is so popular it looks really good so yeah that's the rs5 let me know what you guys think that's gonna sum things up for our video on this rs5 again a huge shout out and thank you to the strong audi here in downtown salt lake for giving me some time with this rs5 check out the intro in the description down below ask for micro landing if you have any questions i'll see you